So I made this video. It's going to accomplish four things. One is how to remove the tailgate panel. Two, it's when your latch handle on the swing tailgate stops working. Three, how the pop and lock tailgate lock, how it works and the mechanism. The four, the problem I've had with the lock. Hey Honda Ridgeline Group. Okay, I guess today I'm going to try to make this video. Um, I installed this pop a lock latch on my tailgate to make it more secure. Works good, you know, it prevented this from opening and I guess a lot of questions, does it prevent this from opening? It also prevents it, but the problem, I installed this during uh, when I went to Michigan so I can keep all my stuff secure during the travel. Well, I came back, I locked it because I still had a lot of stuff but I forgot to unlock it. I squeezed this too hard and something happened. The latch, I think, might have popped off because I squeezed this too hard right here and now it won't open. So, oh, we'll figure out what the problem is. See, it opens here, but doesn't open here. So figuring that out might also help if, say, you have an issue of that working and this not working. We're gonna take these out. There's four of them with a number two Phillips. I'm gonna take a rubber mallet and I'm gonna spec, I think it's this side. I'm using a screwdriver to clear this while I hit the other side with a mallet over here, okay? See? And it's e as easy as that, it pops off. You notice it slides this way and it pops out. So I'm using a, a T40 torque screws to remove that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yay, I got to see it. So we found a problem right here. See that right there? The Boom. So if you have a latch problem, this is it, look at that. Okay, so if you ordered the pop a lock la lock it came with this that I had to add in it came with this stainless steel it's made pretty well this is also stainless steel and right here you had to drill a hole through that through the plastic is the only thing that you pretty much have to worry about if you're kind of skittish about drilling through the vehicle is through this plastic. Everything else is used now. Uh, the, the bad thing is the screws are washers that came I think with a vehicle or I don't remember maybe with a lock are too big so I had to grind it down now. They say to file it but yeah, I'm telling you it took a long time to file. So I have a uh, a grinder or you know a wheel cutter or a wheel grinder whatever you call it and ground that off so if you notice the washer is not a complete circle a chunk of it was grinded off that's something that a lot of people might not have in their garage or this size uh, this size bit the size bit is not exactly you know it's it's pretty decent size um, I don't know the, it may look like it's a three quarter inch maybe I'm not sure because uh, I already took care of it and this also came with that you're using existing holes so let's see if it works now it should work look ah it works see works
boom, took care of it. The problem is, I guess when you squeeze here too much, this thing pops out. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a tie wrap. I'm going to do something here. I'm afraid if I put a tie wrap, it's going to get caught up. But this is usually the problem right here. Okay, I hope that helps people out. Now just do the reverse version of putting it back together. Okay. At the pop -a lock uh, lock on these on the ridge line, just to let you know how this thing here works. Um, I'm gonna take the key that comes with it and I'm gonna put it in the lock phase. This is locked. I think this is locked. Yeah, this is locked. Take it out. And that prevents that from opening. It looks like this latch, this latch that opens that gets caught on this, I don't know, like a, like a latch or, a, or an edge or a 90 degree angle, preventing that from opening. Now when you unlock it, when you unlock it, this hammer moves forward. And now you're able to make this movement locked. That prevents that from moving. Unlock. That prevents that from... That prevents... That allows this to go in. Lock. Prevents it. So I hope that clears it out for some people that are on the fence about buying this. But one thing I did notice is if you squeeze the handle too hard, this pops out. So be aware, learn how to take this on and off because you may have to do it once or twice. To actually replace these clips, at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you the part number and where I got it from. After replacing the clips, I've had no problem ever since. I first run it by hand. I know I don't cross thread it, always a good habit. It's easy to zip it through, but always a good habit. I'm gonna use this one here because I'm using a drill because my driver might have too much nuts and it might, uh, do it too tight. These guys. These are simple to put back on. Now, I made a mistake of trying to figure out if it was this way or this way, but I don't know if it matters. I damaged a couple, so I made sure the ones that I damaged goes somewhere here in the center. Somewhere that doesn't have a support, so just use a little bit of common sense. I'll actually replace these clips. Now I just line these up. Right there, right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. The rubber mallet. Everything here is good. No gap. Make sure it still opens. And then I'll do the same thing here. Make sure my torque is set so I don't strip it.
nothing like using your hands to make sure that you don't overstrip it. And like that, it's done. That's all nice and tight. Those are nice and tight. Pour a mallet. Driver's side, smack it that way to remove. You know how it's a puzzle to get these trims out, and unless you know the back side of it, works good. Works good. Lock it. Yep, lock it. Works. Unlock. Now, you just lock it once in a while. So I bought these parts at hondapartsnow.com. The clips that go on the black trim is part number 91513-Sierra Juliet Charlie-Alpha 01, and they call it a clip garnish. The purple clip is part number 72139-Sierra Romeo 0 Alpha 01. This is a plug. This is my other one right here. This is my uh, my fun car and my practical one. <laughs>